Okay, so welcome to my YouTube channel. I, Dr. Prashant Upadhyay, welcome you all again on my YouTube channel. So, in the previous lecture, we have talked about the importance of this void setup and void loop. So, today we will be writing a program for the blinking of a LED. If you remember, we have said that we will be using the D2 pin of the ESP32. Why we are taking the D2 pin of the ESP32? Because it has got an inbuilt LED. For example, if you don't have the LED available, external LED available with you, so you can use the ESP32 inbuilt LED like we have got a, for the Arduino you know, we have got an inbuilt LED at pin number 30. First, the command that, okay, I will be using a command that this is my program of LED blink. Okay, now what I have to do, I have to define the int. If you can see that the, as soon as I have written this int function, the color of the int function has been changed because this is the internal function that is being used in Arduino IDE. So I'm defining the int LED. Let's say I'm connecting it at the pin number two. Okay, so I will be writing like this. Then what I want, I want this LED should be on and off. That is means how long the LED should be on and for how long the LED should be off. So we will be writing the wait time on and wait time off so we will be using again the variable int wait time on equal to let's say 2000 and i'm saying int wait time off equal to 500 okay so we have defined the int that led equal to 2 that means i'm connecting my led with the pin number 2 then for how long it should be on so i'm saying it should be on for the 2000 and millisecond and then i'm saying wait time off so i'm saying that it should be off for the 500 now what i have to do i have to find the void setup so here i will be writing a pin and remember the am is the capital pin mode and and what is my pin i am connecting at the led pin number 2 so i will be writing as a variable LED comma what I want I want it as an output so I, void setup means here we have to define the code which has to be set up and it has to be runs only once okay so we have set up pin mode that I am connecting my LED at the pin number two now come to the void loop what here what we want we want that okay LED should be on for the let's say 2000 millisecond and then it should be off for the 500 millisecond so what we have to do we have to use a digital write signal digital write so again you can see that i have got a w capital and soon i will put this round bracket so you can see that it is saying that pin number so what is my pin number my pin number is led i have defined this led at pin number two and what the value i want i want it should be high then how much long i want this led should be on so i will be defining a delay function and here instead of writing the number form i will be using my wait time on Okay, so what is the advantage of using it that this variables that whenever you want to change your values, you have to change the values at the top only where you are defining your variables, global variables. You don't have to change the entire values of the code. So this will be providing you the good habit of writing the code. Then we will write digital, write again. What I want, I want my pin number that is the LED pin number two should be low so i will be writing a low and then i will be writing the delay how long i want it should be off so wait time off now you can see my code is written perfectly now upload the code on your esp32 so it's saying compiling sketch and it is connecting it okay and it will going to be uploaded on the ESP32. So you can see it is start writing the code on the ESP32. Now we will going to show you that how this LED is being connected on the ESP32. So you can see that this is the program which we have uploaded on this ESP32 kit and uh, we have defined the LED2. So we have connected it to the D2. Then we have connected a resistor and then we have connected the LED to it. So this is the complete program of a blinking of a LED and you can see the blue color led also so that is the inbuilt led that has been present in the esp32 so suppose if you don't have the external led available so you can use this one so thank you very much for watching my videos i hope you have understand the concept which has been used for the 
राइटिंग अ प्रोग्राम ऑफ ई एस पी थर्टी टू थैंक यू